Hello, my friends. Today we're going to look at a little different study. The mission here for White is actually to save the draw. And that's not easy. You see, this uh, pawn is going down. It looks like we cannot catch it with the king. These two pieces, the bishop and the pawn, looks, uh, well, maybe a little threatening. But if we move the pawn, well, black will simply just take our bishop, not the pawn. And then the pawn will be lost next time. So somehow we can still save this to a draw. The question is how. So take a look at this, post the video and uh, analyze. See if you can find out the full variation, which makes white save half a point. Go ahead. Okay, here we go. So, well, obviously we cannot do anything with this. As I showed you before, we would just lose both and we will never be able to catch this uh, pawn. And if we start moving our king, maybe grabbing the first pawn, well, black will simply take our uh, pawn on c2. That's in the way. And then we can never catch this pawn and we will not be able to save anything here. We will lose. We can try something uh, uh, like this, perhaps, uh, and then make a turn, try to win this uh, to get our king here. But if we do something like this, then when we play king e6, back will simply play king g7, and he will stop everything. Everything is blocked here. We cannot come any further and we cannot catch this pawn and we will lose. That was my first thought, something like this, uh, but it's not right. Okay, so starting from the beginning, what is right then? Well, we are of course gonna lose this pawn, but we wanna lose it where we can put the, the knight in a bad place. So the correct starting move is to play c3. Now, I mean, uh, black doesn't want to waste any time with moving his king like this. That will actually be pretty easy uh, draw for us. Something uh, like this. Then we can play king c6. And we get the king down here. And we will be able to stop the pawn. Because the king can never come closer. If we start running, then we can get uh, our pawn to promotion. So black has to save stay with his king there. So, black needs to attack. After we play c3, you can play knight d1 or d5. d5 looks a little bit nicer, but it's the same. It's going to take your next move anyway. And there's no point for us to uh, sacrifice this pawn. It will just take and keep on running. So, from here, white starts moving his king. We take the pawn on b7. We allow black to take on c3. As you see, we will still not be able to catch this pawn, but we have a smart plan. Okay, so from here, we go attack this pawn. We can actually go to either of these squares. It's going to be the same, but let's look at king a6. Now, of course, Again, if black tries some sort of tempo move with his king, we simply play king a5. We will get our king to b4 and block everything, and that's clear draw. So black is more or less forced to just run with his pawn. We keep on attacking it. If you try something else, like uh, knight d5 again, we will just play king a4, be able to get to b3, and really block everything. Since black cannot come and help with his king, he's not going to make this on his own with the knight and the pawn. So he will just keep on running with the pawn and we will keep on attacking it with king b4. Attacking both the pawn and the knight. Obviously he cannot move the knight, we take the pawn. But he plays b2. And yes, the knight is hanging, but this is not winning. Uh, it's not saving a draw either. He will get the queen. And sooner or later, we will really lose this. We can try something. The king must come to g7 sooner or later. And even though if this is uh, 
some sort of block and uh, threat, we will lose this in the end. The queen is just too good. So that's not working. And I'm not going to show you all those variations because that's going to take a long time. So instead of taking the knight here, we play the brilliant move of king a3. Attacking the b2 pawn again is forced to move it. If it does something with this knight to d1 or a4, we simply play king a2, be able to get to b1 and block everything. The point of the full study is this, of course, now that if black promotes to a queen, we have put ourselves in a stalemate situation. Now we can play g7 check. If it takes the pawn, well, then he loses his queen. And it's, of course, a draw. If it takes the bishop, we simply promote here to a queen with a check. If it takes it, bam, that's a draw. It's a stalemate. We cannot move anywhere. And, of course, if it tries to escape, it's a perpetual check or even quicker. Just another check. And put the queen on g7. Now he's forced to take. And we managed to reach the draw. So that's how you solve this. But let's look at what happens if he under promotes, of course. If we go back here now and black will uh, promote to a rook instead. The point is this knight protects both uh, a2 and a4 squares. And the rook covers the entire b file. So it doesn't matter if this promotes to a rook or a queen. We will do the same uh, thing. And obviously this is still a draw and a stalemate. So under promoting to a rook doesn't help. Let's see if we what happens if black promotes to a bishop. Well, first thing first, Black cannot really uh, go and help with his king. He needs to stay and cover this. But anyway, we simply play king b2 here. And we're actually attacking both pieces. So anyway, he will lose one piece. And of course, from there, it's not winning. So that's the quickest way to look at it. Of course, let's look at this also. Promote to a knight with a check. Tempo move. But that tempo doesn't give Black anything. We play king b2, <coughs> attacking both pieces. Yes, they are uh, protecting each other, but that also means no one can move. And if he tries to move the king now, getting closer, we can simply go back and forth between c2 and uh, b2 like this. Both knights are under attack. If he tries to get closer, we simply go back here, attack both. And now if it comes any closer with his king, well... Then we are winning this because we will promote. So black needs to keep his uh, king up here. And of course, he cannot win with simple two knights alone. Anyway, two knights against the king is not winning at all. So it doesn't really matter. We can just sacrifice both of these pawns and get a draw. Okay, so that's how you solve this from the beginning. You uh, play c3, force the knight to come into a bad position. And we set everything up for a stalemate later on. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you tomorrow in another video. Have a great day. Bye bye.